Welcome children. Take out your real English book. Part 6, Chapter 14, The Necklace. Before explaining this chapter, let me tell you that in my previous video, I have already explained how Madam Lawson refused to attend the party and she started and how she started to cry after remembering her after thinking of her poverty. Now let's begin the rest part of the chapter. She replied, nothing. Only I can't go to this party as I don't have anything to have. Now, Miss Madam Loison, she refused to go to the party because she doesn't have any good dress to wear. The husband was heartbroken. Look here, Matilda. She persisted. How much would a nice dress but simple dress cost? Now, her husband became a little bit worried, sad also, you can say. I said that, look here, Matilda. He persisted saying that, how much would a good dress cost? She thought for several th seconds, thinking how much money she could, she could make her husband give her without him refusing. Now, Matilda, what happened? That means Madam Loisel, first little bit, she thought for a second and then she th started thinking that how much would she tell her husband that his husband would not refuse. At last she replied, I don't know exactly, but I think I could do it with 400 francs. Now, Matilda uh, said that she doesn't have, doesn't know exactly what is, a, uh, what is the amount, but she could do it with 400 francs. He grew slightly pale for this was the exact the amount he had been saving for a gun. Now, Matilda's husband, first he became a little bit worried. But because it was the exact amount he had saved for a gun, nevertheless, he said, but he had never said it before. Very well, I will give you 400 francs. Now, his husband said that, oh, her husband said that, oh, very well, he will give in, give her. The day of the party drew near and Madame Loisel seemed anxious. Now, day of the party, it was coming very near and Madame Loisel, she was looking very anxious. One evening, her husband said to her, What's the matter with you? You have been behaving very oddly. Now, one evening, what happened? Ma Madame Loisel's husband asked that, What happened? What the matter? That she was behaving very oddly. I am utterly miserable because I don't have any jewelry to wear with my new dress. Now, Matilda said that she, she is miserable. She is feeling very miserable because she had, doesn't have any jewelry to wear with her new dress. How stupid you are, exclaimed her husband. Go and see Madame Foster, your friend, and ask her to lend you some jewels. You know her quite well enough for that. Now, her husband said that, How, you are quite stupid. You better go and uh, see, go and uh, ask your friend, that is Madame Foster, uh, uh, to lend some of the jewels because she is quite um, enough for that. It means she is quite rich. She exclaimed, that's true, I never thought of it. Now, Matilda says that, yes, it's correct. She had never thought about it. Next day, she went to see her friend and told her trouble. Next day, what happened? Matilda. She went to her friend and, and told her all about her trouble. Madame Froster took Madame Loisel to her dressing room and said, choose my dear. Now, Madame Froster, what she did? She took Madame Loisel to her dressing room and said that you can choose. Uh, you can choose any of the jewels. Madame Loisel finally chose a superb diamond necklace which she owed with her gown. Now what happened? Madame Loisel was she chose? She chose a very fine diamond necklace and she owed with her gown that she owned with her gown. She was the center of the attraction at the party. Now at the party, what did she became? She became the center of attraction. Everyone noticed her, everyone was noticing her. All the men wanted to dance her. All the men what they wanted? They wanted to dance her. All the ladies praised her, even the ladies praised her. She received many compliments. Even what happened, she received many compliments. Madame Loisel felt truly happy. Uh, Madame Loisel felt truly happy and thankful for the first time in her life. Now, Madame Loisel, what happened? She felt truly happy and even very thankful for the first time in her life. When they reached home, she discovered that the borrowed diamond necklace was missing. Now, what happened when they reached home? What happened? Matilda. What happened? She borrowed, she found that, she discovered that the borrowed diamond necklace, what it was, it was missing. They looked everywhere but could not find. Now what happened? They looked everywhere but couldn't find the necklace. Scared of doing to the prison, 
instead of going to the prison they sold everything everything that they, they had and borrowed money to raise 36000 francs to buy a replacement now they became so much scared that they will have to go to prison if they can't return it back and so for this what they did they sold everything what they had and even borrowed some money to raise this 36000 francs to buy one replacement and another like the husband worked two jobs they shifted to a smaller uh, smaller house now what happened her husband she uh, worked for two jobs she started doing two jobs he started doing two jobs and now they shifted to a very small house and madam loise who had dreams of a luxurious life had to do uh, her own work now madam loise who always used to dream of a luxurious life she had to do all her work by her own she came to be known as the abject poverty man now she what happened she came to know what this actual what actual poverty means in the 10 years they were able to pay back all the money they had borrowed now within 10 years what happened they were able to pay back whatever money they had borrowed by then she lost by then by then she lost all the all her beauty and oh, older old, and looked older now by then what happened she looked very old she will looked all her she lost all her beauty and she started looking very uh, um, uh, look, looking very old what would have happened if she had never lost those jewels now she was thinking that if what would have happened if she had not lost all these jewels who knows who knows how strange life how uh, how fickle how little is needed to win or to save now he, she doesn't have that idea what had happened if she had never lost the, the jewels who knows about this what strange life what is bigger and how little need, uh, how the little thing can drill or uh, how to save one day she saw one day she saw her old friend madam forster walking with her daughter she was still beautiful and graceful now one day what happened Madam Loisel saw her old friend that was Madam Froster she was walking with her daughter she but she was looking still beautiful and graceful Madam Loisel then decided to go and meet her friend now Madam Loisel what she decided she decided that she will go and meet her friend and tell her about what happened and then tell all her what happened good morning Jane now she went to her and said wish her good morning Jane I the other did not recognize, but the other her friend didn't recognize. I'm Matilda Loises. Is that I'm Matilda Loises? Yes, oh, my poor Matilda. How have you changed? Now say that. Oh, my poor Matilda. How have you so changed? Yes, I have some hard times since I saw you last, and many sorrows, oh, and all on your account. Saying that, yes, I had to spend them now. Matilda started narrating her stories that she had to spend hard time and when she had seen her last and all the sorrows came and because of her account on my account how was that now her friend was also too surprised because she had no idea saying that on her account what uh, how it is possible you remember the diamond necklace you lent me for the ball at the ministry now metal is started saying that the diamond necklace which she had lent for the party at the ministry yes well well i lost it saying that yes it was as her friend said and now metal they said that she had lost it how could you why you brought why you brought it back saying that now her friend said that no it's not possible because you have returned it back i brought you another just like it and and for that last 10 years we have been paying for it saying that i have brought not brought that same necklace instead i have brought same like that same um, same piece of necklace it is different and for that i had to pay since last 10 years we are paying for that necklace you realize it wasn't easy for us we had no money saying that you know that she doesn't know that it was not, wasn't easy for her to pay so much of money because they had no such money. Well, it is paid for at last saying that well, but now it has already been paid. Madam Foster was halted. Now Madam Foster, she became, she became stopped. She was very much surprised. You say you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine. Now her friend said that you're saying that you have bought a diamond necklace to replace my necklace and she smiled in proud proud and innocent happiness madam froster deeply moved took to her two hands said that and she was smiling in proud and her innocent happiness now madam froster what happened she took her hands oh my poor metal day but mine was an imitation 
it was worth at the very most 500 rand now her friend said that oh metal day she had only i uh, she had only given means now mrs foster said that she had only given half necklace it was just a imitation necklace that was it was not in the real diamond necklace it was just a imitation and it cost only 500 rand now take out your diary right chapter 40 the necklace chapter explanation completed homework revise it and with this i am ending my today's class